Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to share an interesting little uh, debugging error handling analytics trick. Uh, I'm not going to take credit for it. One of our devs actually uh, did this in action. Uh, I'm going to take credit of a little part. So essentially, uh, you have this special action and unhandled error occurs. Okay. So uh, what we should basically decided to do is like, okay, we know what we should make a reusable element and we'll just place that little reusable element uh, everywhere. Uh, and after that, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of logging uh, internal in our own system. Uh, one pixel by one pixel, five pixel by five pixel, place it in the header or the footer or somewhere on the page. And it's just going to uh, capture some exceptions. It's just error handling. So it's nothing much. Create a thing. You can create a thing. In the workload model, you could potentially make an API call out to some other place like segment or mix panel and pass parameters over there. Uh, create a thing is simple as well. If it should ideally be a rare thing, it should not be a heavy thing all the time. Uh, but yeah, so uh, no new type error and just some text one. So you have current workflow error sometimes gives useful, helpful debug info. And of course it's helpful to have like uh, the actual user as well. Uh, what, oh, who's, who was impacted, uh, perhaps a date. Uh, it, it all depends on what you'd like to capture. Uh, date will happen in create date anyways. Uh, the current page URL uh, we saved and various other parameters. So just keep in mind, this is something we wanted to place in a reusable and place in many other places. So uh, this URL, so where it happened, who was it, what's the workflow error? And this is good information uh, to have when you have a, an apps in production and you're like, you're a bit stuck. I was like, okay, I, I'm not sure what's going on where. This can catch plugin errors as well. And this can catch uh, some just, it depends on what it catches. We've had send grid errors being caught here. We've had like plugin errors being caught here. Uh, so overall it's a useful, interesting technique and, uh, we can just take this reusable and place it uh, anywhere. Kind of just, uh, so header and footer is just an easier place to put it. Uh, you can just place it somewhere easy. Uh, all right. Hope this was useful. Uh, if you have other suggestions on how to uh, do some error handling, uh, please do comment below. And uh, if you found this valuable, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Bye.